Stop trying to sell, oh, I can do Facebook ads to generate leads. That's not working anymore. That doesn't work anymore because A, everybody, it's Aaron here. And in this video, this very important video, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to sell your SMA services, whether it's Facebook ads, Google ads, or any other social media marketing service that you offer to local businesses in your area, or if you're from another area, to the United States or Canada or another first world country. Let's get right into it. So how's it going guys? My name is Aaron Bogle. My goal is to have a six figure agency by the end of the year. Please join me on this journey by hitting a like on this video and also subscribing below because that way, if you know what I'm doing to grow my uh, SMA agency, you can learn the exact things that I'm doing and em emulate them and do it for yourself to grow your own six figure SMA agency. And also join my group, the SMA Client Acquisition Tips, Tricks and Accountability because with that, I post tidbits of information like uh, right here um, that, you know, I can't make a whole entire video about that's going to help you get clients and what's working right now in the current moment. And I also post some stuff early, like my live discovery call breakdown and some other content that you get earlier access to other than YouTube. Plus, you can get access to my cold call or cold emailing scripts that I use myself to this day. That's getting me that's getting me appointments. There will be a link in the description below for that. So overall, what I'm going to talk about today is just the overall selling process of you know selling your SMA services so that way you can take clients from you know you can get them interested in a cold call to you close them and you get payment and you get them results as well so overall how do you sell your SMA services so not a lot of people talk about it. like Facebook ad courses for the most part they just talk about uh, just go to like many many business owners and it's like you know email call do all that just say I can run Facebook ads for you and generate you leads how about, you know, we talk this in the state and then lo and behold, you might not be seeing results. You might not be seeing much fruit for the effort that you're putting in. And that's because those courses, they're not sales courses for the most part, or, you know, they're not sales books. If you really want to learn about sales, I really recommend reading books uh, that Jeb Blunt does. Um, they're really good. And like I use the tactics in this books to, you know, help me get clients, help me get discovery calls, like this discovery call here with the $2.5 million prospect. Just because you have the Facebook ad skills, you don't have the sales skills. And un unfortunately, if you don't have the sales skills, then you can't expect to get clients. So overall, what's the key concept to sales and kind of marketing for the most part, so you can sell local businesses on your SMA services. So the key thing is you need to say to them that you can get them the end desire that these business owners want. Let me repeat that because it's so important. You need to say that you can get them the end desire that they want. So for example, what do all businesses want? What do all of them want? They want more customers. So if you say to them, I can get you, you know, a specific number amount, like seven to 10 more customers this month, let's go on a time and let's book a time to call because think about it. Um, if you are very unspecific, if you say, oh, I can generate leads, Sometimes there are some industries who don't really even work with leads for the most part. It's like, like if you tell a restaurant, you can get them leads, then, you know, they're going to be like, what are leads? I want, they want customers. They want people to like, sit in their restaurant and eat their food. Or if you're working for a home improvement, they want to go into the doors and give someone a free estimate. They want appointments because they know that appointments give them customers. So if you say something like that on the cold call or on the cold email, you're going to pique their interest. And then, you know, just because you say that you can get them customers or you can get them appointments, they still may not, you know, bite for it. They still might be like not interested or they still might not know what you're talking about. Or they still might not know, you know, trust that you can actually get them that customers because a lot of marketing agencies, uh, A, if they say they're generating leads, they're still getting like all the way to the bottom of the pile. But some of them, you know, they've adapted to that now and they're saying, oh, I can generate you customers and I can generate you appointments and stuff like that. So, you know, the business owner is still kind of hesitant. It's just like, you know, they get these emails, they get these calls all the time saying that they can do the exact thing. But then, you know, once they actually take them up on the offer, nothing happens. That's why I like to do something that's risky. The risky thing I do is that I offer a guarantee in that cold email. So, for example, uh, what something you can say that's got me a lot of good uh, feedback and a lot of meetings, especially a meeting with uh, this client right here, is saying I can get you seven to ten uh, new homeowner appointments guaranteed per month schedule with a scheduled time and date to meet with you because think about it that's the dream right there for you know someone who wants to do you know a roofing job or you know a remodeling job 
They want a scheduled time and date to meet with a potential customer because they know that if they meet with that potential customer, they have the potential to make tens of thousands of dollars on that one customer. And if you can get them seven to 10 appointments just per month, that's seven to 10 opportunities that they could have to possibly make over 10 grand and stuff like that. So that means that even if one of those appointments actually goes through, the profit that they make can pay for your services plus more if you're targeting the more high-end uh, niches and stuff like that. So the key thing is you need to promise them something that is their end desire and that they want. And you know, make a guarantee or make it sound more enticing and like, you know, more delicious for the most part, right? So if you're on the phone, you can say that, hey, I can get you seven to 10 more appointments per month with people who are, with people who are scheduled with a time and day to meet with you. If you say something like that, then that would be beautiful. Think about what the current marketing that you're seeing right now. If you're a digital marketer, if you're if you spend any time on Facebook, you're seeing that you can get, you know, five thousand dollar clients by like, you know, the end of the month or you can have a six figure figure agency by, you know, the end of the month for the most part. Right. Note that they're, they're not promoting their system. They're promoting, you know, the end result to you. And then you're like, oh, OK, I want that end result. So you sign up for the free training and then they show you the system that they use to get you to that end result. That is the exact same thing that you do. You attract the client by showing them that you can get them this end result. Then the client bites and says, OK, let, we can hop on a call. And then during that call, it's more the discovery phase. You need to see like, OK, are you a good fit? Are you, you know, you ask specific questions to get them more excited about it. And I mean, this is what I do here in my live discovery call as well. You ask them questions to get excited about it. And then in the end, you tell them how you're going to get them to that uh, result that they're looking for. You want to think of yourself as the bridge to get them from where they are now to where they want to be, which is seven to 10 appointments per month. Or if you, once you learn in the discovery call what they truly want, you can use that as the end desire as well. So overall, stop trying to sell, oh, I can do Facebook ads to generate leads. That's not working anymore. That doesn't work anymore because A, just because you're well aware, you're well aware of Facebook ads or Google ads and stuff like that. Many local businesses aren't, they're more in knee deep with their own business, with their own, you know, style of, you know, doing their marketing stuff like that. So they might not even know what Facebook ads are. And then a lot of times um, when they try Facebook ads, they do it completely wrong and they may have a negative connotation for it. So by literally just promising the end result, you won't believe how, how far you can get into like the sales conversation before they ask you, okay, how do, how exactly do you get me those appointments? Because all they care about is that end result of getting those appointments. Some business owners don't even care. They say, they say, look, I don't care if you use Facebook, if you go door to door, or, you know, if you, you know, shoot fireworks, just get me those. If you can get me those appointments, I'll be glad to pay you to get those appointments as well. So that is overall the key to selling your social media marketing services. Promise the end result. Your Facebook ads or whatever social media marketing service you offer is the bridge that connects them from where they are now to where they wanna be. So if you tell them, okay, I can get you to where you wanna be, they're gonna get interested. You go on a call with them, you build more rapport, you get them even more and more interested. Then they ask you, okay, what do you do? um towards the end of the conversation and then you form the bridge and then in the proposal which one thing which one lesson i learned is you always want to be there for the proposal uh when you send them the proposal and they read over the proposal right you always want to be there because here's what's going to happen if you if they say send me more information or something like that don't send them information without you being there present ask for the specific information they want then schedule a time and day to talk about that specific piece of information plus other components of the proposal. Why is that? Because when you send the business owner, you know, that information, they're going to have a specific way of interpreting it. And then, you know, that specific way of interpreting it might not align with the way you want it to come out. So for example, with this client here, uh, this is the, this was a huge mistake I made. I just sent him the proposal and then we did have a scheduled time and date to talk again. But the thing is, um, he's, he was talking to other uh, marketing agencies at the time, which most other business owners do certain aspects of my proposal. He either didn't understand, or he just thought, you know, a completely different way, which is completely different from the first time I sent a proposal to a, a prospective client. He understood everything that I was trying to say a different client. It was literally the same exact proposal, but a different client understood it in a different way. And he said, oh, this is not exactly what I was looking for. 
even though when he pointed out the parts where you know he said that he was confused about or it's not what he was looking for i could have you know easily justified it at the time i could have easily said you know oh this is what you're looking for because of x y and z or you know we don't have to have that in the proposal as well so you always want to be there for, for the proposal meeting as well um because you know if they misunderstand something and you're not there to fix it they're just gonna assume it and then just gonna go on to the next client or just not give you the next the time of day to sell your sma services to local businesses you just want to promise them the end result whether whether you're doing cold calling cold emailing uh cold messaging or you have an automated some or you do something else show the main result that these business owners want and make sure you speak in their language too so for example if you work if you want to attract dentists as clients use the words patience if you want to attract you know home improvement stuff use the word homeowners as well like try to speak in their language so that way they completely understand what you're offering to them and then once you do that you know you do the discovery call if you watch this video and follow what i do uh you'll have a good understanding of how to do it so and then with the proposal meeting you send them the proposal and then you're on the call at the same time when you send them the proposal you talk about it you answer any questions they have you explain the proposal more in detail and then you sign them up as a client so don't make the mistake of saying oh i can run your facebook ads to do lead generation you will get no like 90 percent of the time you're going to get more meetings more appointments uh, and more cl smma clients if you promise them the end result so that is exactly how you do it so if you're still struggling on getting your first SRMA client, maybe your focus is not in the right place, watch this really short video I have up there, which tells you the one thing, the one thing you need to focus on to get more SRMA clients. I'll see you guys in that video. Take care.